Ever wanted to visit Vancouver, Canada? Well, hold on to your travel hats, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey through this vibrant Canadian city. Nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the majestic Coast Mountains, Vancouver is a treasure trove of cultural and natural wonders waiting to be explored. To kick things off, we're starting at number 5, the Museum of Anthropology. This isn't just any museum, oh no. It's a captivating showcase of indigenous art that tells a thousand tales of Canada's First Nations people. Here you'll find a vast array of awe-inspiring totem poles, intricately carved masks, and other traditional artifacts. Each piece, a testament to the rich cultural tapestry that makes up this great nation, it's a must-see for any art or history enthusiast. Now aren't you curious to know what's next on our list? Before we move on to our next attraction, here's a quick pause for a very important message. If you're enjoying our virtual tour of Vancouver so far, why not show us some love? A simple click on the like button below can make a world of difference. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to hit subscribe for more exciting travel content. We promise it's going to be an exhilarating ride. From breathtaking landscapes to fascinating cultural experiences, we've got you covered. And remember, hitting that notification bell means you'll never miss out on our latest videos. So, are you ready to explore more of what Vancouver has to offer? Let's dive back in and see what's next on our list. Cue the music, roll the visuals, and let's keep this adventure going. Moving on to number 4, we find ourselves amidst nature's bounty at Stanley Park. This urban oasis, the jewel of Vancouver, offers an intoxicating blend of natural beauty and cultural heritage. The park's famous seawall, a 9-kilometer paved route that loops around the park, beckons cyclists and leisure walkers alike. Breathe in the fresh ocean air as you navigate around the park, taking in the stunning views of the city skyline and the shimmering Pacific Ocean. And who can forget the iconic totem poles? These magnificent towering structures tell the rich, complex stories of the indigenous peoples of Canada. Each pole a vibrant testament to a culture steeped in history and tradition. A sanctuary for wildlife, Stanley Park is home to a myriad of creatures, from chirping birds to scampering squirrels. It's a perfect spot for a picnic, with plenty of serene, picturesque spots to choose from. Ready to continue our journey? Let's see what's at number 3. At number 3, we have an attraction that's a feast for the eyes, Queen Elizabeth Park. This urban oasis, nestled in the heart of Vancouver, is a vibrant tapestry of manicured gardens, intriguing sculptures, and breathtaking views. The stunning panoramas from the park's highest point offer a unique perspective of the city's skyline, making it a much-loved spot for photographers and nature lovers alike. Now, if you have a penchant for exotic flora and fauna, the Bloedel Conservatory within the park is a treasure trove. This domed paradise is home to over a hundred free-flying exotic birds and over 500 plant species from around the globe. It's like stepping into a different world altogether, a world saturated with the colors and melodies of life in its most captivating forms. After such beauty, what could possibly be at number two? Let's find out. At number two, we step into the vibrant world of Granville Island. This bustling hub of activity is a feast for the senses. The public market is a cornucopia of fresh produce, artfully arranged, a kaleidoscope of colors. Scents wafting from the food stalls will make your mouth water. You'll find unique shops offering everything from handmade crafts to gourmet chocolates. But Granville Island is not just about shopping and food, it's a thriving center for the arts, with galleries showcasing local talent and live performances that will make your heart sing. This is a place where creativity comes alive, where every corner you turn reveals another surprise. And let's not forget the maritime charm of the island. The gentle lapping of the water, the bobbing boats, the cries of seagulls overhead. It all adds to the charm of Granville Island. This is a place that captures the essence of Vancouver in a unique, captivating way. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, our number one attraction. And finally, at number one, we have the stunning Capilano Suspension Bridge Park. This isn't just a park, it's a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature, and a celebration of our human ability to interact with it in ingenious ways. Imagine stepping onto a narrow bridge suspended high in the air, swaying gently with the wind. As you walk across, the panoramic view of the lush rainforest below takes your breath away. The Capilano Suspension Bridge, stretching 450 feet across and 230 feet above the Capilano River, offers exactly this thrilling experience. The feeling of being so close to the sky, yet so immersed in the greenery, 
is truly something to behold. And the adventure doesn't stop at the bridge, far from it. The park also offers the cliff walk, a cantilevered walkway clinging to the granite cliffside. This adrenaline-pumping path gives you a unique view of the rainforest and the canyon from a perspective you'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else. Then, there's the Treetops Adventure, an award-winning attraction that takes you on a journey high among the magnificent Douglas firs. Seven suspension bridges, reaching as high as 110 feet, connect one magnificent tree to another, letting you stroll among the whispering leaves. But it's not just about the thrill, Capilano Suspension Bridge Park is a place of natural beauty. It's where you can truly appreciate the grandeur of the ancient rainforest, the rushing river that carved the deep canyon below, and the delicate ecosystem that thrives here. It's a place to reconnect with nature, to feel a part of something much bigger. So there you have it, the top five things to do in Vancouver. Each one unique, each one a must visit. So when are you planning your trip?